you a sight for sore eyes. Oh, I am so glad to be home, and thank yes. you so much for taking care of Timmy. Oh, what are you kidding? We had a blast. I am so crazy about him. So where's my little man? Oh, well, he's on a sleepover at his friend Eddie's. He begged me to let him go, and I thought maybe it would be best under the circumstances. Uh-huh. I, I, I could go pick him up, though, if you want. No, of course not. I, I am. I'm anxious to see him, but he's having a wonderful time, and I can wait until tomorrow. Yes, probably it is. It's for the best. You've been there. After everything you've been through, you need some time to unwind. And Nat, you know, um, I didn't say anything to Timmy about maybe you were in danger because I didn't want him to worry. I appreciate that. Thank you. You know, you know what I suggest? I suggest you get in a bathtub of good hot water and just soak. And then I'll take you out for a fabulous dinner. Oh, Adam, I don't really think I'm up for going out tonight. Oh, come on. It'll be good for you. I promise I'll make it an early evening. Well, maybe it would be nice. Good. Wonderful. Uh, I'll get dressed. Meet you in an hour. Fine. Adam, thanks for everything. There's only one thing that is important, you know. You're safe. He's really been an angel. Oh, Adam Chandler, an angel. Right. Oh, come on, Donna. You've never even given him a chance. He's been very thoughtful. Okay, fine, 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 fine. What I want to know is, what happened with you and Trevor? And where is Trevor, anyway? I was terrified. I can tell you that. We were caught out there so far from land without any power, and the waves were over 10 feet high, and they kept crashing down on the cabin. The boat was rocking like the devil, and, and uh, we kept getting thrown from one side to the other. And then Trevor insisted that we would have a much better chance of making it to shore if we got in the dinghy. So that's exactly what we did. And then a wave flipped that over, and after that, the next thing I know is I was waking up on the beach. <sighs> This sounds like something out of a movie. Or a horror movie. <laughs> so what happened? Well, at first, I thought I was the only one that survived. But lo and behold, Trevor showed up. And? When we were on the boat, stranded out there, I wanted to <laughs> strangle him for getting us into this mess. But then he's also responsible for having made it to the island, so I guess it evens out. You guess? What do you want me to say? Donna, Trevor's... Clever. And as annoying as he can be, he does have a few redeeming qualities. Well, glad to see at least you're realizing that. Such... He's like a big kid. He's always playing tricks and trying to stir things up. But he does have a... a sensitivity and... an inner strength. I think he's somebody you could count on. So, uh... What did you two do with yourselves? I mean, how did you find food, shelter? Oh, well, Trevor's nothing if not resourceful, and, and he managed to find some berries and things he made a lean-to, and it, it could have been a lot worse. There was nobody else on the island? Not a soul. Sounds kind of uh, romantic. Well, I guess in a way it was. Mm-hmm. Shipwrecked, marooned, Boy, I know this is going to sound real nosy, but I can't help wondering if you and Trevor weren't, uh... Swept away, were you? I was frightened and alone and very glad to be alive. Oh, hallelujah. No, Donna. It just happened. It shouldn't have, but it did. Adam seems like he's handling it real well. Oh, he doesn't know. You didn't tell him? I didn't see any point. Oh, yeah. This means you haven't accepted his proposal. It doesn't mean that I won't. Wait, 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 wait a minute. You and, you and Trevor... Oh, look. Donna, it just... It just happened, as I said. And as I said, good for you. When we were on the island, we shared a certain closeness. But then Jeremy and Adam showed up and the whole thing fell apart. Translate, you shut down again, huh? Now, why do you say it like because that? Because I know you, Nat, and you... I don't think you're ever... What? All right, I don't think you are ever going to learn how to enjoy yourself. Donna! Don't romanticize this. 
You know, for a short period of time, Trevor and I managed to get along and not kill each other. We managed to make the best out of a bad situation, and, and that's it. That's what you think? Huh? Yes, that's what I think. Mm. That's what he thinks, too, I'm sure. Anyway, enough of all this stuff. I want to hear about what's going on in your life. Come on, come tell me. Are things better between you and Emily Ann? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've, um... We've made a lot of progress. Well, good. And I have some other good news. Chuck and I set the date. Donna. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> when is it? Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow? Tomorrow. <laughs> and I fully expect you to be there. You got that? Oh, I wouldn't miss this for the world. Are you kidding? You just tell me when and where. Okay, it's just going to be a small ceremony in my apartment. Or maybe if it's nice, we'll move it out to the park in the afternoon. Donna? You have to have it here. Oh, it would be so pretty. Here? Oh, please. I, I would be honored. Oh, Nat, you know how I love this place. Good. That's I it. It's settled. No. You just got home, and you're in no shape to throw a, a, a big last-minute thrown-together wedding. Donna, it would make me very happy. Really, it would. And the distraction will help as well. Okay? Tell Thanks, you what. Buddy. <laughs> Come upstairs with me while I change, and you tell me all about who you invited and what kind oh of a menu you've got. Oh my gosh, I'm supposed to invite you. Wait, are those going to be here, or is going to get in the Come on, it's not that loud. Mrs. Twelliger, I paid the rent. It's in the mailbox. Sweetheart, I'm not dressed. Trevor, you're going to open the door or do I have to break it down? What are you doing over here? Call me a sucker for a happy ending. Why don't you head over to the local moviola? Oh, don't be like this, Trevor. Like what? You're the one that's out of sync. And as far as those happy endings go, let me give you the revised edition. Princess kicks the prince in the teeth and then heads off to the old toad. Not if you don't let her. She cares about you, Trevor. I know she does. Oh, yes, sir, Reed. Bob, but we need a major reality check. Sweetheart, this dame doesn't care about me. She's got no feelings for me. Correction. She's got no good feelings for me. If it was between me and a case of poison ivy, I would lose. That's not what she told me. <sighs> Donna, I got a newsflash for you. She's been stomping on me, and I'm fed up. Trevor, she's confused, all right? No, it's not all right. She's been treating me like something she's been stepping in lately. And as far as confused goes, we're talking major schizoid here. I don't need it, you understand? Or not? That, that, that's why you're over here to talk no, to no, me. No, 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 actually, it's not. Trevor, Chuck and I... Chuck and I would like for you to come to our wedding. Wedding? <laughs> Look at that rock! Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> where did you get that? Uh, when? When? It's going to be tomorrow afternoon. Really? I'll be there. Oh, no great. Problem. At Natalie's, 1 o'clock. A trap. What? It's a trap. No, no, oh no, I swear, I swear, absolutely it is not. What am I apologizing for? You know me better than that. You're a good friend. We want you to share our happiness with us. And no, she doesn't know I'm inviting you. I'll think about it. Okay, that's good, that's good. Now listen, if you do come, would you at least try to talk to her? Hey, if I'm coming to your wedding, I'm coming as a guest, not as Natalie Shrink. Adam is so wrong for her. Well, she thinks that he's right for her. She left the island with him. She didn't accept his proposal. <sighs> give her time. Just give her time. Why are you being so negative? Is Adam coming to the wedding? Oh, like I'm going to invite him, right? Trevor, Natalie is my best friend. I don't want to see her make a mistake. If she marries him, it's the biggest one she could ever make. So why are you telling me? There's nothing I can do. If you would just... Yeah, if I'm not there, my best to you and Chuck, you know that. Thanks. Night. Night.